Hey what's up guys how are you all and welcome back to another video so guys in today's video i will teach you how you can make minecraft replays like me so guys the very first thing that you have to do is to download minecraft replay mode you can download it from any website so i will not show you how to download it i will straightly show you how to make replays so let's get into the video so the first thing that i always do before making a video is i make the base of the structure that i am making so let's quickly make the base of the structure and then let's start our replay so guys now i will take all the blocks that i need to make the build and then i will start building so guys now i have taken all the blocks that i will need to make the replay so guys now i will click on start recording and it will start my replay recording now i will make my whole build and after that i will stop recording then we will make the replay so guys now i have made the base of my structure now i will make walls and the door of, of my house so guys this is just a starter house i just want to show the like tutorial to make the replays so i will just make a like small house so i am making walls i will make a window here like this window and guys you have to make sure that you don't make any mistake while building your house like even if you do any mistake you have to like reset it you have to rebuild the whole thing not like the whole house the whole like side or any like wall so guys as we don't want to make any like clip uh, longer than like uh, three or four seconds we have to fit this video in like 60 seconds a short which is a duration of a youtube short so guys make sure you don't make any mistake so this is the house that i made like this is just a small house as i want this for the tutorial i am decorating it like making the uh, some like details on the walls so after building the whole thing i will make the replay so after building your house you have to exit your world and it will save your replay file and you have to wait until it saves your replay so after the processing is complete you have to click on done and then you will go to the replay viewer like i'm in runner client so it is on the bottom if you play on vanilla minecraft then the replay viewer will appear like here on the screen but I am on Lunar Client so it is on the bottom of the screen so I will click on replay viewer I will click on the replay that is on the top which is the most recent replay that I just made I will double click and open it so this is the replay you can use your default controls like WSAD or spacebar to like move so the very first thing that you have to do is to decrease your FOB to like 30 or 40 like we have to decrease our FOV so it looks like a better point of view for the video so after that you have to go into settings and apply some good shaders that suit on your video I usually use complimentary unbound with some like custom settings so if you want a video on my custom settings of complimentary unbound shaders you can comment in the comment section and I will make that so after like applying the shaders you will press T on your keyboard and your cursor will appear then you have to like adjust the speed of your clip i usually keep it like between 4 to like 3 percent so it makes my first clip between like 6 to 7 seconds which is usually the duration that i always use then i will apply keyframes then i will press p on my keyboard so it will start playing so now i will wait until i make the whole base i made the whole base then i will press p on my keyboard to pause the clip then if you want, don't want it to be too long so before adding the ending keyframes you can increase the speed or decrease the speed of your clip so it will so also increase or decrease the duration of your clip you can keep it 1% so it will like be too long which will not look good like now it is like 7 seconds or 6 seconds now I will add my ending keyframes and after that let me show you how the clip looks I will like move my cursor to the starting position so now I will click on play camera path from cursor position so it will start playing my replay that I just made this is the first clip that I always use in my short so now we will save it we will click on this render camera path so here is the option we will click on it then you can see many options but don't get confused at bottom you can see add to queue this option is like used when you have to render so many clips at the same time and this option actually saves your time so first i will show you settings you have to keep like encoding preset mp4 rendering method default rendering and resolution as much you want i keep it 1080p bitrate 50 mbps which is a good value if you want a like good quality video and video frame rate around 90 by default it is 60 but i keep it like 90 which is which is why my video looks smoother 
you can also pick a render name tag so it will show your name tag in the clip i usually keep it off but now i keep it on in my some of recent videos now we will render our clip you will click on add to queue and it will add your clip to the queue so then we'll click on close and then we will press c on our keyboard to clear the keyframes like why yes or no or options are not showing i don't know like yes option is on the left and no option is on the right i think it is just a bug or glitch in lunar client but we will click on yes after that we are ready to make our second clip so we will move our cursor to the starting of the timeline and after that we will like move to the position where we have to record our second clip after that we will adjust the speed that we want in our second clip you can also use i and o on your keyboard to add the keyframes after that we will make our second clip so now i'm making the wall and a window here like so i made the second clip now i will add the ending keyframes i will adjust the speeds so i will make it a short clip like of six six seconds or five seconds then i will add my keyframes then I will click on render camera path, add current configuration, add add to queue. Ah, add to queue, we will click on, and here are the two clips that we just made. So after that, we will click on close, and we will again clear our keyframes. First, we move to the position of the third clip. So now I will clear the keyframes. Now I will add my keyframes for the third clip, and I will start playing my clip. Then after I made my window, I will add the ending keyframes. I will repeat the same thing and add my third clip onto the queue. Then I will clear keyframes and I will go for the fourth clip. After making all of your clips, you have to click on render camera path. And then here you can see all of my clips. Like these are just half of the clips because I made this just for a tutorial. And after that you have to click render all that is on the bottom of the screen and after that it will start rendering all of your clips and you have to wait until it do so so after rendering it will show you two options open video folder and upload to youtube like you can click on open video folder so it will open the folder in which all of your replay videos are saved so you can view them so guys now it is dependent on you like where you want to use them how you want to use them i don't know that that is your choice and guys if this video was good you find this helpful so please drop a like and subscribe my channel for more amazing tutorials that's it for today's video let's meet in the next video and goodbye